The idea that life might exist in the far reaches of our solar system is both intriguing and motivating, driving numerous scientific missions. This curiosity is rooted in our desire to understand our place in the universe and the conditions under which life can thrive. While Mars has been the centerpiece of planetary exploration, Titan presents an entirely different set of conditions that could foster life. Unlike the barren, rocky landscape of Mars, Titan has a thick atmosphere, liquid lakes, and a complex chemistry that scientists believe could be key to understanding the potential for life in extreme environments. Titan is not only Saturn's largest moon, but also the second largest moon in our solar system. Its size, coupled with its unique atmosphere and surface characteristics, makes it an object of immense scientific interest. Titan is enveloped in a thick atmosphere primarily composed of nitrogen, with significant amounts of methane and trace gases. This atmosphere is unique among moons in our solar system, creating a greenhouse effect that raises its surface temperature slightly above what would be expected given its distance from the sun. Titan's surface is also covered with a variety of organic compounds, and it's home to lakes and seas of liquid methane and ethane. Despite Titan's extremely cold temperatures, which average around negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, and its lack of sunlight, scientists believe that life could potentially exist there. The thick atmosphere, presence of liquid, and complex organic chemistry suggest that, under the right conditions, some form of life might thrive on this distant moon. Titan's environment is both alien and intriguing. Its dense atmosphere, Vast landscapes and surface liquids offer a rich tapestry for scientific study, particularly in the search for life. Titan's atmosphere is predominantly nitrogen, similar to Earth's, but with a substantial presence of methane. This methane plays a crucial role in Titan's weather systems, forming clouds, rain, and even lakes and seas on its surface. The atmosphere also contains a variety of organic molecules, which are essential building blocks for life. The surface of Titan is a complex and dynamic environment, characterized by vast plains, towering mountains, and deep impact craters. Beneath its icy crust lies a subsurface ocean of liquid water and ammonia, a potential haven for life. The surface itself is coated with a thick layer of organic material, likely formed from complex chemical reactions in the atmosphere, which then settle onto the surface. Titan's geological activity is unlike anything on Earth. Instead of molten rock, cryovolcanism on Titan involves the eruption of water, ammonia, or other volatile substances. These cold volcanoes release methane and other gases into the atmosphere, contributing to the complex weather patterns observed on the moon. Cryovolcanism is a process where low temperature substances like water and ammonia erupt from a planetary body. On Titan, this process may help sustain its thick atmosphere by replenishing methane, which otherwise would be broken down by sunlight over time. These cryovolcanoes also indicate that Titan is geologically active, with potential energy sources that could support life beneath its surface. Titan's surface is dotted with lakes and seas of liquid methane and ethane, the largest of which is Kraken Mare. These bodies of liquid are replenished by rainfall from the methane-rich atmosphere and possibly more cryovolcanic activity. These lakes and seas present a stark contrast to Earth's water bodies, but could serve as habitats for life forms adapted to these alien conditions. The possibility of life on Titan, while speculative, is rooted in the Moon's unique conditions. Life on Titan would be unlike anything found on Earth, requiring adaptations to extreme cold, limited sunlight, and a methane-rich environment. Any life on Titan would need to withstand temperatures far below the freezing point of water. This means that life forms, if they exist, would likely have protective mechanisms to insulate against the cold, possibly using antifreeze-like substances in their biological processes. Titan receives only about 1% of the sunlight that Earth does, making photosynthesis as we know it unlikely. 
Life on Titan would need to rely on alternative energy sources, such as chemical reactions. This could involve the breakdown of methane or other hydrocarbons, processes similar to those seen in certain extremophiles on Earth. The chemistry of Titan's lakes and atmosphere is vastly different from Earth's. Life forms on Titan would need to utilize methane and ethane as solvents in their biological processes, a stark contrast to the water-based life on Earth. This would require a completely different biochemistry, perhaps using cell membranes and enzymes adapted to work in these hydrocarbon solvents. The search for life on Titan focuses on its unique environmental features, each offering a potential habitat or clues to the presence of life. The lakes and seas of liquid methane and ethane are among the most promising places to search for life. These bodies of liquid could harbor microorganisms that have adapted to the extreme cold and chemical composition of these lakes. Researchers are particularly interested in areas where liquid and solid phases of these hydrocarbons interact, as these could provide energy gradients that life could exploit. Titan's atmosphere contains hydrocarbon clouds, formed from methane and ethane. These clouds, along with the organic molecules they contain, might play a role in chemical processes that could support life. Studying these clouds helps researchers understand the atmospheric dynamics of Titan and the potential of prebiotic chemistry. Titan's diverse surface features, including its dunes, river valleys and mountains are formed by both sedimentary and geological processes. Some features, like river valleys, suggest the presence of flowing liquids, which could be crucial in the search for life. Ongoing geological activity, such as cryovolcanism, could provide heat and energy sources necessary for sustaining life in subsurface environments. Titan has been the target of several exploratory missions, each contributing to our understanding of this enigmatic moon. The Cassini-Huygens mission, launched in 1997, was the first to conduct a comprehensive study of Saturn and its moons, including Titan. The Huygens probe successfully landed on Titan in 2005, providing the first direct observations of Titan's surface and atmosphere. The data collected from this mission revealed a landscape strikingly similar to Earth's, with rivers, lakes, and seas, but composed of hydrocarbons instead of water. Despite the wealth of data, no direct evidence of life was found. Scientists continue to analyze data from the Cassini-Huygens mission while planning new missions to further explore Titan's potential for life. The focus is now on understanding the Moon's subsurface ocean and its interaction with the surface, as well as the complex chemistry of its atmosphere. Set to launch in 2026, the Dragonfly mission is one of the most ambitious efforts to explore Titan. This mission will send a drone-like rotocraft to Titan's surface, capable of flying between multiple sites to conduct scientific experiments. Dragonfly will focus on Titan's dune fields, impact craters, and possible subsurface reservoirs of liquid water. The mission aims to search for prebiotic chemistry and potential signs of life by analyzing surface materials and atmospheric samples. Dragonfly's mobility will allow it to cover a broad range of environments, providing a comprehensive look at Titan's habitability. One of the most compelling aspects of Titan is its rich organic chemistry. Titan's thick atmosphere is laden with complex organic molecules, including methane and ethane. These compounds, considered the building blocks of life, form in the upper atmosphere and precipitate down to the surface, creating a unique chemical environment. The presence of these molecules suggests that Titan has the potential for prebiotic chemistry, similar to early Earth conditions before life began. Energy is crucial for life, and Titan presents several potential sources despite its distance from the Sun. Sunlight, though minimal, reaches Titan, but it's insufficient to sustain life as we know it. Instead, chemical reactions may serve as the primary energy source. Reactions between methane and other hydrocarbons, or between organic molecules and surface minerals, could provide the necessary energy for life. 
Additionally, cryovolcanic activity might release heat and chemicals that could support microbial ecosystems in subsurface environments. While Titan's surface is dominated by liquid methane and ethane, the possibility of a subsurface ocean of liquid water mixed with ammonia is particularly intriguing. Liquid water is a key ingredient for life as we understand it, and ammonia could act as an antifreeze, keeping water liquid at Titan's frigid temperatures. This subsurface ocean could offer a stable environment where life might exist, protected from the harsh surface conditions. Titan is one of the coldest places in our solar system, with surface temperatures averaging around negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme cold poses a significant challenge to life, as biochemical processes typically slow down or halt at such low temperatures. Any potential life forms would need specialized adaptations, such as antifreeze proteins or other mechanisms to maintain cellular function. Titan is exposed to significant levels of radiation from cosmic rays and solar wind. While its thick atmosphere provides some protection, radiation still poses a threat to potential life forms by damaging DNA and other critical molecules. On Earth, some extremophiles can survive high radiation levels, suggesting that if life exists on Titan, it may have similar protective adaptations. Oxygen is essential for most life on Earth, but Titan's atmosphere contains almost none. Instead, it is primarily composed of nitrogen and methane. Life on Titan would need to thrive without oxygen, relying on alternative metabolic processes, such as anaerobic respiration, which does not require oxygen, but uses other molecules as electron acceptors. Spectroscopy is a key tool in studying Titan's atmosphere and surface. By analyzing the light absorbed and emitted by Titan, scientists can determine the composition of its atmosphere and identify various organic compounds. This technique has revealed the presence of complex hydrocarbons and nitriles, providing insights into Titan's potential for life-supporting chemistry. Missions like Cassini-Huygens have been instrumental in exploring Titan. The Huygens probe, which landed on Titan in 2005, provided direct measurements of the Moon's surface and atmosphere. Data from landers and probes help scientists understand Titan's geology, weather patterns, and chemical processes, offering clues about its habitability. While landers and probes provide valuable data, sample return missions would allow for more detailed analysis using sophisticated laboratory equipment on Earth. Collecting samples from Titan's surface or atmosphere and bringing them back to Earth would enable scientists to conduct high-precision experiments, potentially uncovering signs of prebiotic chemistry or even microbial life. Titan's unique environment rich in organic molecules and with potential subsurface liquid water make it a prime candidate in the search for extraterrestrial life. While no direct evidence of life has been found yet, the complex chemistry and intriguing geological features suggest that Titan could harbor microbial life forms, particularly in protected subsurface habitats. The future of Titan exploration looks promising with missions like the Dragonfly rotocraft, set to launch in 2026. Dragonfly will explore Titan's diverse environments, from its organic-rich dunes to potential cryovolcanic sites searching for signs of life and prebiotic chemistry. Continued advancements in remote sensing, lander technology, and sample return missions will deepen our understanding of this enigmatic moon. Well, for now, we can hope that the next few decades of research hold the potential for groundbreaking discoveries that could reshape our understanding of life in the universe. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if you want to know more about outer space life, then watch our video on how the first hundred years of colonizing Mars would look like. See you in the next one. Bye.